guys, welcome to Taste Buds by Anubi. Another episode, another new restaurant. So this restaurant today that we are visiting uh, is Malgudi Garden, uh, and it's a pure vegetarian restaurant. We have diverted a little bit from the regular Anubi um, non-vegetarian carnivorous kind of thing. We are here with uh, our friends, um, and uh, they have a lot of recommendations and uh, requests to review a vegetarian restaurants. So here we are today. Um, it's a buffet kind of uh, setup today, evening. Thursdays normally is a buffet night. Um, the moment we walked in, they asked us for what kind of uh, uh, dosas, dosas have, masala have, dosas or naans. So we started with masala dosa. So they have a plain dosa, masala dosa, naan or butter naan. Correct. And a very basic, uh, basic plates, looks <laughs> like a disposable ones. Uh, so they have entire buffet, they have uh, snacks and they have also the regular uh, main entrees. So let's go and see what they have but um, uh, the restaurant as you can see it's packed it's full um, and I'm, so that means the food is good and I am excited to review this restaurant. So let's go ahead and let's get started, begin. As an appetizer, let me try some. Let's make your own pani puri. Pani puri. Cheers, Thank cheers you. to the pani puri. Mm. Not bad at all. Nice. Very good. So I'm having pav bhaji and samosa chaat. These are, I believe, some of the appetizers there. They also have pani puri, but I did not take that uh, for my meal tonight. Um, the samosa chaat is really good, flavorful, and it's not very spicy, so I think kids can enjoy that as well. The pav bhaji, the taste is a little bit different from the traditional pav bhaji, so I'm still trying to get used to it a little bit. Um, but um, Krishna, do you know what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, Pavaji is not uh, what what I've had it before, so it's definitely a very unique taste, and uh, we'll see how the rest of the food is. It's Malgudi red soup. So let's try this. Um, Malgudi red soup. They have some appetizers, baby corn. And then they have some idli. Idli looks nice. It's nice and fluffy. Big one. It's nice. Let me try some idli. Sambar goes on top of the idli. They have, a, they have the 
the jeera, jeera rice, jeera pulao, which I'm going to try. The jeera pulao is my favorite. They have veg dum biryani. What is this? This is alu gobi. Let me try some alu gobi. Mm, this is saag, non vegan. Punjabi curry pakora. Wow. Let me try that. Okay, so my plate is full right now. I don't have any space. I'm going to come back for a second round. <laughs> look at his plate. Does Abhi look like this ever? How come you turn vegetarian today? I'm like water. I'm like water. Oh. The people I meet with, I become like that. So I'm like Chitra and Krishna. So I'm like that. Malgudi Manwa, it's been a when did you come Chitra last time? 2017. So, how do you like the food? Yeah, folk food is really good. I've been here a couple of times, and the veg food, especially, they have really good. Yeah, okay. yeah. Are you a yeah I'm a vegetarian, okay. and especially on Thursdays, I come here for the Rumali roti. Okay. For the live Rumali roti that they make on Thursday, we come here. So they have uh, the chutneys um, to go with the idli and you know dosa and they also have, this is the salad bar um, so they have fruits and uh, they have everything here so basically three stations one is the salad bar and one is the actual buffet here oh, it's pretty packed And uh, one is the uh, this place. So I'm trying the what is this soup? The veg, uh, the malguri veg soup, something special. It's amazing. You know, it's very creamy, and they have put some nice pepper on it. It gives such a nice flavor to it. Now, what are you trying, Abhi? So I got the fresh malguri roti right off the tandoor. And, um, so it's it's, it's, it's so soft. thin and soft and uh, as you have seen they were making it live yeah, so and also have um, so when they give the dosa they have chutneys inside along with sambar so the chutneys are you know top notch very nice and then uh, the sambar is also very good very good. It's, it just has a nice flavor in it. A typical uh, South Indian sambar that you get. You have to come to Malgudi. Very amazing food. Less space here, so I'm trying to do a time to do it in a selfie mode. As you see, the restaurant is pretty packed, and uh, the tables are, you know, kind of very close to each other. But the food is amazing, so I would like to come back here. Um, I would like so to. I would like to watch for the pani puri. Yeah, pani puri, pani puri in a South Indian restaurant. It's amazing. The, uh, the, chutney, the chutney and the, the green chili water. Amazing. So, um, they have South Indian dishes, of course, for tasting really good. They also have these North Indian dishes, dal makhani, kari pakoda, you know, uh, paneer. So, those are also like, you know, top notch. They are uh, really good. I'm going to get one more plate. So this is my uh, second outing and I have, you know, smashed my plate with uh, Punjabi curry and alu gobi, rumali roti, the veg biryani. All these days I thought it's an oxymoron, but it's not because I thought there's nothing called as a veg biryani that exists on this planet Earth. But today I realized that it does. It's so flavorful. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying the rumali roti with a bunch of different uh, side dishes here, and uh, what I really like here, Anu, is that. 
they have so much variety but it's not overwhelming right so they have lentils they have paneer they have the vegetables they have saag and they have dal makhani and i personally liked the flavor in everything the punjabi curry is a little bit different than again what i'm used to but really love the flavors in everything else here and i see what is the different they're not like all dal you know all, that is you right know, so one is dal like this one has casein one is just veggies yeah. you know and and it's a different colors right makes That's it more appetizing true. makes it uh, easier on us to try it all out yeah I'm, I'm, I'm eating. I'm eating dal makhani and uh, some aloo gobi. Um, unusual for a South Indian place to have all of this, but uh, it's, it's it's pretty good. They have a good mix of South Indian. They have a good mix of South and North Indian. Yes, that's true. Very salty, right? Actually, they put a little bit of salt. That will enhance the sweetness. But again, this is too much salty. I mean, I didn't expect. You know, I'm trying gulab jamun. It's a small. It's a very small size. Of course, it's a buffet, and it's a very small size gulab jamun. Um, but it's good. Uh, it's not that bad, and you know, I'm a big fan of gulab jamun. I, I'll always go for gulab jamun uh, in a dessert section, and uh, it's not bad. It's, it's really good. I like it. I like the. So for drinking, they have water and they have the lipstick so that goes in the buffet. They have some stand over there. They have the soda, but this is not uh, not working or uh, yeah, it's not available. Okay, it's not available. Okay, but yeah, overall, uh, overall a great experience, a great buffet experience. What do you think of it? Yeah. Any any of your favorite dishes? Um, the alu gobi was very good uh, with rumali roti. The veg biryani was top notch. I would give it five star rating. Um, if I want to rate the food on one to five scale, this I would say it is five out of five. It's yeah. on the point, uh, and uh, you know. No complaints. None of the dishes. Absolutely, like, and like it, and they have South Indian. They have done justice to both the regions, the cuisine to both the regions, and it's absolutely very good restaurant. It's packed. They have rumali roti, so that was a bonus point today. All the vegetarian lovers and family of Pace Bajwan who should come and visit and support your local business. I was like waiting to eat this yeah, from very long time, trying to come to Mandiri, uh, but it, as it's a vegetarian restaurant, he was not ready. But uh, <laughs> but he's happy, so you know. Mission accomplished. So until next time. Bye, thanks for the time.